Don't be caught offside and don't miss a single pass of the FIFA World Cup as we bring you incisive commentary and predictions from the penalty box. From precision strikes to superb defence and attacking free kicks, visit Dave's Corner Shop to enjoy all the action from Qatar. Dave's Corner Shop is proudly brought to you by Motus Nissan Zululand. Be bold and shoot for goal in the all-new Nissan Qashqai. Good day football fans and welcome to the Corner Shop. So let's look at who's playing who today and what's likely to happen at Qatar World Cup 2022. It's day six at the World Cup in Qatar and we've got two games coming up in Group A and two in Group B and here's where the fun really starts now. Every team has now played one game. They're going to their second game of three in their respective groups. In the first game we have in Group A today, Senegal and Qatar, both of them lost their first game. So effectively, if one of them loses now, they're out of the competition. I think that Senegal is going to beat Qatar. I didn't see anything in Qatar that would be anything of a surprise or could cause an upset here. But the main game we're looking at today is Netherlands and Ecuador, and both of them won their first round games. I think Netherlands are going to be too good for Ecuador and should Netherlands win, they're going to move up to six points. Ecuador would stay on three. Then if Senegal had won their game, then Senegal will also be on three points with Ecuador. So it's really going to be a lot of permutations here. But I pick Netherlands to go through and then we're going to see Ecuador and Senegal level on points. Let's see if that materializes. Group B is going to see a couple of intriguing games. If we go back, you remember that England beat Iran 6-2 and the USA and Wales drew 1-0. So Wales and the USA are really going to be searching for their first win. And if that doesn't happen for either side, they're in real danger of being knocked out at this early stage. One would assume that Wales will beat Iran. Iran really had nothing going for them at all. Should Wales win, they're going to move up onto four points. And then should England beat the USA, they'll move on to six points. But supposing there's an upset, suppose the USA beat England, then we're going to be looking at England on three, Wales and the USA each on four points. This is moving time now, either upwards or downwards. What Wales won't want is an upset by Iran. What England definitely won't want is to be trumped by the USA. Great stuff to watch today. Dave's Corner Shop was proudly brought to you by Motus Nissan Zululand. Call 035-787-8600.